Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is, can I get a bargain in the second hand gun mic market? Now a while ago somebody left a comment to one of my videos saying um, you want to do um, something on buying mics second hand but like everyone else I just take my chances, I win some and I lose some. But uh, recently I picked up one of these which I think is a good candidate for a bargain. It's um, an Audio-Technica 4073 a. Now there are two versions of this. I don't know whether they knew there was going to be a second version when they made it. Um, the A is the older version and uh, its noise performance isn't as good as the B, but the B is newer. I think it's still current and it's an expensive microphone. You know, it's right up there with your 416. So um, I've got, uh, I think I paid about $150 for a 4073A uh, and I'm going to try it against the venerable 416. There you go, yeah, have a look in sizes. They are not too dissimilar, 416 a little bit longer. Much fatter interference tubes on the Audio-Technica. Um, and just to give it a proper run for its money, we're going to uh, uh, run it up against a Sennheiser MKH60, which um, would be roughly 10 times the price. So that's not, a, that's not a, an inconsiderable challenge. Let's get to our readings. Let's have at it then with a bit of John Milton. And on the morning, of Christ's nativity. I'm going to be a little bit naughty. I'm not going to tell you which one you're listening to because I think um, uh, with such a disparity in price it's a better tease really isn't it? But when of old the sons of morning sung while the creator great his constellations set and the well-balanced world on hinges hung and cast the dark foundations deep and bid the weltering waves their oozy channel keep ring out ye crystal spheres once bless our human ears, if ye have power to touch our senses so, and let your silver chime move in melodious time, and let the bass of heaven's deep organ blow, and with your ninefold harmony make up full concert to the angelic symphony. For if such holy song enwrap our fancy long, time will run back and fetch the age of gold, and speckled vanity will sicken soon and die, and leprous sin will melt from earthly mould, and hell itself will pass away, and leave her dolorous mansions to the peering day. Well, Mike A was the Audio-Technica, 4073A, and Mike B was the venerable but mighty Sennheiser MKH416 and this could be a sleeper. It's This is the AKG480 with the uh, CK69 capsule. Ever onwards though to the MKH60. John Milton on the morning of Christ's nativity. This is the month and the happy morn wherein the son of heaven's eternal king of wedded maid and virgin mother born our great redemption from above did bring. For so the holy sages once did sing that he our deadly forfeit should release and with his father work us a perpetual peace. That glorious form, that light unsufferable and that far beaming blaze of majesty wherewith he wont at heaven's high council table to sit the midst of trinal unity he laid aside, and here with us to be, forsook the courts of everlasting day, and chose with us a darksome house of mortal clay. Now we did a little bit of a switcheroony on that reading. Uh, Mike A was the Sennheiser MK860, and Mike B was the Audio-Technica 4073A. Well, that was a very interesting comparison. What did we learn? Well, I think the Audio-Technica 4073A is a bargain. It's a particular bargain, I think. Because they've changed the letter, um, it's become a lot less popular and can be found cheaply. Um, it does have a, a bass roll-off feature, which I think you've probably seen on one of the pictures, but nothing else fancy. In sound quality terms, I thought it was closer in sound to the MKH60 than the 416. I, I think 
there's a sizzle at the top end, uh, a sibilance at the top end of the 416, which I'm sure helps it uh, if it's in a Rykut or a basket, but doesn't speak to me of absolute neutrality, which I think you do get with the MK60. This is a brilliant mic. Um, the 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 4073 uh, is closer to that. I'm I'm not saying it's you know identical. I think there's an openness and a bit of bass authority to the MK60 and possibly a lack, a slight lack of nasalness, which I did hear on the 4073. But um, it's actually three slightly different takes. As I say, I I feel the top end. As I say, when it's out of a basket out of a windshield, maybe a little bit sizzly on the, the 416. Still a great mic. Um, but how close did the uh, 4073 get to this beast of a microphone? So I pronounce the 4073A a genuine gun mic bargain. Thanks for coming to PPM6 TV. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Do subscribe. It does help. Come back soon.